Hello and welcome to another Football History Boys tier maker special. Today we are ranking all 55 European nations and deciding which ones have the best international football history. For this we'll be taking into account their World Cup and their Euros history and a bit of the qualifiers as well. Maybe a bit of Nations League, who knows. Uh, we're going to use tier maker for this. We have six different categories. We have one to five, six to fifteen, 16.25 and so on, all the way to the bottom, which is 46 and 55. Are you ready to get started? Let's do it. Okay, right. Albania to start. <laughs> Not many qualifications. They qualified for this Euro, 2024. Yeah. They qualified in 2016. I guess, yeah. isn't it? So but let's probably... let's put them in the bottom tier for now. But I would say Bottom they're... tier? Bottom tier? Emerging. Emerging nation. For I now. think they should be higher. Okay, fine. For now. Right. Okay, moving on. Andorra next. They're not. They're gonna have to write down the bottom, aren't they? Yeah. Sorry, Andorra, but you. I don't think there'll be many lower than Andorra. Ingrained in my head, this is of Bale's free kick to send us towards the Euro. So it was that first game, wasn't it? In the groups. Yeah. Had to beat Andorra. We were drawn with Andorra nations. late on. Yeah. And then we beat them. Other nations have good memories of Andorra because yeah. they <laughs> usually get a few goals. Right. Let's move on. This is Armenia next. Armenia. You know what? I saw Armenia recently. Smash Wales. 4-2 at the uh, Cardiff City Stadium. And they were amazing in that game. They've had a few decent plays over the years. Yeah. Obviously, Mkhitaryan is their big yeah, one. Yeah. Obviously, their history as well, former USSR nation. Mm. So they've come from that too. So their history is also going to be checking a little bit where they go in. Bottom category? Or? I think bottom category, but definitely emerging as we saw against that Wales performance. They were, they were brilliant, weren't they? Absolutely brilliant. Ram, Ranos, isn't it? Ranos. Yeah, oh, he was very good. He was right. Next up, we have Latvia. Is it Latvia? Yeah, Latvia. We have Latvia next. Okay. Um, the qualified in Euro 2004, Marion Pahas, ex oh, Southampton yes. player. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they drew, I think, with Germany at that Euros. Nil nil. It was a bit mm. of a shock. They, they did the better than many thought. I think that they qualified for a year and surely bumps them up. It may be the category above. I reckon it's going to be 10 that probably haven't qualified. Okay, let's put them below Albania, but uh, okay. yeah, in that next category. Right, Austria next. Now, go on. Austria 1930s. Mm, We're talking one of the best sides in world football. Bunder team, yeah. Schindler, isn't it? Mm. Their forward, um, obviously affected by the Anschluss when they become part of. Germany, effectively by the Nazis, um, and you know he is someone who rebels against that, isn't he? Yeah. Um, but that team were were an excellent football team. They've been ever present since ish. They've they? qualified Europeans. for quite a lot of tournaments yeah. since, and World Cups. They've obviously never gone very far. They quite. I think they got to the group uh, knockouts in '82 after the, the disgrace of Hee Haw. Uh, of course. Yeah. yeah um, they never, yeah, they never set the world. Like, I think they might have had a couple of like maybe third places in the World Cup, maybe in like the early days. What, what do you reckon? So are they, are they for now twenty six to thirty five, but with the potential of moving up, or are they even higher? Maybe they're. I think they're, they're probably. The they might be five. towards the bottom of yeah. that. But I think they're there. Yeah. Right, uh, Azerbaijan, another whipping boy of football history. However, they did sort of host quite a few games in Euro twenty twenty. Uh they can't be very high, can they? Bottom category? No, I think, you know, if you look at the FIFA rankings, um it probably tells you what you need to know as well. Okay, on to Belarus. Uh another not done anything of the no. bottom category. Probably. Above yeah. Azerbaijan or below? They've caused size more problems than Azerbaijan maybe. You know, in qualifiers maybe so yeah, so okay. not, not a particularly nice place to visit. I don't think. Here we go with them. Yeah, I don't think so. Right, not at the moment. Um, right, Belgium next. Uh, Belgium, you know, decent history. Mm. Good team in the 80s. Uh, Perennial dark horses. Yeah, always dark horses. Obviously, uh, they lost to Wales in year 2016. Um, Harrobson Carney. Um, he's done all right. World Cups, I think. Third place. Third place, yeah. Um, I think they've lost the Euros final, actually. I'm pretty sure nine, Euro, Euro 1980 they lost the final. I'm pretty sure of that. So I think they for that they have to jump into the six to fifteen. Yeah, or maybe towards, towards the tail end. Towards yeah. The tail end, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, another team that was in the former Yugoslavia is Bosnia and Herzegovina. Mm. Uh, qualified in for the World Cup 2014. Yeah, Jako's Jacko, team. Um, Azmir Begovic. Some decent players actually in that side. Um, 
they're not a bad team, Bosnia. They, they've had, they've had their golden generation now. It's kind of on a stuff again. They got to a World Cup, um, so I think we we put them in that thirty six to forty five, but above Austria. Yes, I'll, I'll be in it. Yeah, I'll be in it. Okay, right. Let's go on to Bulgaria. I think they've oh year oh Bulgaria's is World Cup ninety four. Put you looking fourth. Mm. Um, Stuchkov. Yes. What a player he was. Uh, yeah, Bulgaria. They've got a decent history as well. I think they've qualified for a couple of World Cups um, quite a while ago. And obviously, the pass. Know, a couple of good players. Berbatov, people like that. Berbatov, yeah. You're 2004. Mm. Um, so, are they the 26 to 35? I think they're our first team in there. Yeah. yeah. Right. Croatia. Mm. Um, a lot of Croatians. And they're the Prenna Dark Horse. When we predicted them to not do particularly well in the next coming U, uh, oh, Euros yeah. now this summer, mm. a lot of Croatians commented, which is great. Hi, people of Croatia. Um, they say, when you when you said they were done, when you said they're tired at last, that side that have kept going and going, perhaps their time is coming to an end. They're very passionate about that side. And they've got every right to be, because that side have been phenomenal for a country of just over three million people. Similar population mm. to Wales. But as a side, they've been phenomenal. Obviously, Modric, Rakitic, people like that. But they've really like been present in in the last couple of World Cups, the last couple of Euros. Yeah, I think I think two people thought I was um, I didn't like Croatia, but I love Croatia. You know, <laughs> I they they're always great. You, you um, World Cup ninety eight third place. We yeah. we met that Austria recently, didn't we? Yes, we yeah. did. Yeah, uh, I'll put a picture of it now on the screen. Um, and you know they're fantastic, and they're, I usually support with the World Cup. I love the checkered shirt. Yeah. But yeah. I did see him play against Wales recently and, you know, a midfielder Kovacic, Modric and Brozovic yeah. being outplayed by Jordan James and Ethan Ambedou and I'm saying maybe <laughs> you're not going to be it. But they might do and I'd love them to. Yeah. You know, it'd be great. And I do think their history, for such a short history, yes. is very impressive. Incredible. So I yeah. think it has to go up, up alongside Belgium probably. But, Agreed. Yeah? Agreed. In that 6-15. to 15, Which no one would have expected back in 1991 two in the Yugoslav Wars. Yeah. And then for what they've done since, incredible for the population size as well. Right, Cyprus is next. Uh, another team, not really done much. They've probably got to be towards that that bottom end, haven't they? Yes, yeah. She bottomed in here? Yeah. Okay. Czech Republic. Oh, I used to always support them. I love Czech Republic. Because they had Milan Baros playing yeah. for them. Cowboy ball oh, Nedved. Oh. Collar. Czech. Yeah. Ufalushi. What a team. Uh, Galashet, oh, fantastic. What well, That year 2004 side was iconic. Probably should have won it. They lost on yeah. the silver goal to Greece. Um, they got to the final of Euro 96 as well. They won Euro 76 as Czechoslovakia. Yeah. Um, they lost the final of the World Cup in 50, no, 62 to Brazil. Yeah. Um, they might have lost it again, actually, but... And ever uh, present, a couple of their players, you know, really regarded highly throughout mm. their history, but also European and world football history. Yeah, I think they're going to be underrated by a lot of people. Actually, I think they got to go six fifteen as well, I purely because gonna, we're yeah. putting Croatia up there. Yeah, but I think Czechoslovakia actually may be done. Legit longevity wise, well, they've, they've won Euros. They yeah. have, they got to go higher. Yeah, yeah, brilliant. Right, Denmark, they won Euros too. Yes, it, famously in nineteen ninety two. Well, they didn't even qualify. They didn't even qualify. And then pretty much every Euro since, Denmark are there. Yeah. Uh, and they usually do okay. They usually get to, you know, they got to the semis in the last one. Uh, almost knocked out England at Wembley. Uh, they do all right in the World Cups as well. They're always there. But again, the pretty small nation. Yes. Laudrup's, Schmeichel, you know, Thomason, really good team. Daniel Lager. <laughs> right, where are they going? I think... They've won a year or something. They go above Belgium. They go above Belgium and Croatia. Because they won. Yeah. Even uh, though, obviously, they won because of the backpass law, changes yeah. football. Do we like. put them above Czech Republic, though? Because Denmark's was as Denmark and Czech Republic's was as Czechoslovakia. I... Um, but they made, a fi they made a final since, didn't they? Yes. And, and multiple semis. And I'm comfortable to say Czechoslovakia or Czech Republic inherit some of their history. As well. or, or Czechia. 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 Right, England next. Mm. <laughs> right, where's England going? Uh, I mean... They've won a World Cup. They've won a World Cup. And that's all they've won. They've not done much. And they've lost the Euros final, the last Euros. They've rarely... You know, they've made a couple of semis here, and here there, and everywhere. Yeah. But, they, you know, they didn't even go to the World Cup until 1915. They're involved in a lot of uh, 
surprising moments in world football for, for, for their perspective, I suppose, aren't they? Obviously, 1950, they lose the Miracle on Grass to the USA. What is going on there? Yeah. They should lose to the USA. 1953, Hungary come, demolish them at Wembley, biggest ever loss. Um, then by the English, then 7 1 a couple of months later in Hungary. Uh, you know, throughout other than 66, we're talking about England in A. Do they go? They flop a possession. In the 6 to 15. They've got, I think they've got to be 1 to 5. They've really? As, as a Welshman. Be... Do you reckon? As, as yeah. much as I. That's another thing for the comments. We're not English. We're Welsh. We're Welsh. Right. Um, I think they've got to be for now. Okay. I mean, I'm, sure. I'm delighted. I reckon to bump they'll them drop down. down. I'm delighted to bump them down. But... All right, moving on. Right, this is Estonia. Now the T not doing really anything. They've got a nice, I like the flag. Uh, they're going to go to the bottom, aren't they? Yeah. Sorry, Estonia. Uh, this one is, I think it's the Faroe Islands. I'm pretty sure. Where are they going? They've got to go to the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> they've got to be. I can't think of anything positive to say, sorry. Okay. Um, there's they're a famous Richard Creese video about the Faroe Islands, actually. Yeah. That's quite uh, funny. Jeez. Right, Finland next. Mm. Where are Finland going? They qualified for the last Euros. Had fantastic players over the years. Yari Lippmanen, Mikael Forsell, yes. Sami Hippier. You know, yeah. Decent. I love Lippmanen. I loved it. Well, he was, he was, he he probably, they say he could have so won the Ballon d'Or one. I love Sami Hippier as well. He was brilliant. He was phenomenal for that. 26 to 35? Yes. Game, yeah, right? I think so. I think so. Okay. France, 1 to 5, isn't it? This is one of the challenges for the top spot. Two though, World Cups. And the Euros. Mm -hmm. two And two Euros. I think it's two Euros. 84? Did we win 84? They did, didn't they? Yeah. And yeah. Then, uh, 2000. 2000. They're going to go number one. So for now. now. Yeah, for now. Okay, moving on to Georgia. I love this uh, crest. It's got St. George and the Dragon there. So, uh, really England really fans, nice. if you're across about the uh, St. George's uh, cross, then... <laughs> this country's actually named after him as well. Right. Um, where are they going? Obviously, you've just qualified. But is that their greatest moment? Yes. Yeah. Let's, there. let's put them there. Let's be nice. Right. Germany. They're not going top, aren't they? I'm wearing the German. Four shirt, World yeah. Cups, as seen by the four stars on that crest. They've also won the Euros in 72. Mm -hmm. They've won it in... Oh, when? 96? <laughs> yeah, good knowledge. And that's it, isn't it? Is that it? Yeah. Yeah. So they go so up. We're assuming here now they inherit both West and East Germany, of course, of their history. Yeah, yeah, they do. When you, and we have written, you know, books about football history, Germany are there everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. They win that 54 World Cup and they're the only team in nearly like a six-year spell that stops the mighty mad yards of Hungary. It's called mm. the miracle of Bern for good reason. It was a miracle they won. Um, but they're, in, they're incredible, aren't they? Obviously, 74, they win on home soil. Amazing. And they Amazing host a lot as well, haven't they? Hosted yeah. World Cups, Euros, fantastic. And obviously, so, this yeah. is a nation that we're ostracised from Europe after the Second World War and they integrate themselves back through sport in many ways. Yeah. West Germany um, have been successful as a united country as well since 1990. They, they win it all. Yeah. Gibraltar, down the bottom. Yeah, relatively new, aren't they? As a Pro Association. Probably the lowest because they're so new. Right, Greece, here we go. They've won a mm. Euros. Incredibly, mm. 2004. Probably yeah. the biggest, you know, it's it's got to rank alongside Leicester's Premier League win. It's yeah. one of the biggest shocks ever because they were not fancied at all and we were only 11 at the time and perhaps that takes away from it for us then because you know i suppose as an 11 year old you just think greece are quite good now oh, you know what i was aren't good. i remember at the time being like what who 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 are these yeah. um it was amazing they played this like ultra defensive football but it was so good and pragmatic yeah. and it worked and it you know they beat portugal in portugal in the final so they're going to go up to the 6.15 as well, aren't they? Because they've yeah. won a Euro, so they're going to have to go above Croatia. Great food too. Great oh, food. great place. Right, oh, here we go. Our, our boys, Hungary. The Magyars. <laughs> this is going to be a difficult one for us. To not over overrate them, not to right. put them too high. Hungary. They have lost the World Cup final in 1938. So they got to the final of the World Cup. Yeah. They lost the final in 54 as well. You know, we, we mentioned that one. Um, the... If it wasn't for Hungary battering England twice, England would probably wouldn't have won the World Cup in yeah. 66. Yeah. They obviously then had the revolution, 56. All their best players left. They still qualified in 58. They, still, they, they qualified for World Cups, but they're nowhere near the level they used to be. But recently, they've had a little bit of a renaissance. They qualified for the last one. Smashed England at Molyneux, didn't they? That's smashing at Molyneux. 
They've got some good players coming through. I think they're going to have, what, 16 to 25? Or do we put them up for the Miracle Burn? For the miracle burn I home? think the Magyars have to be these. I know they didn't win it. I understand that. I totally get they didn't win Next it. Next to Belgium? Well, they've lost two World Cup finals, haven't they? Yeah. So above above Belgium for me. Belgium. Um, okay. Above, side, above Croatia as well? Some of the best players in, of all time. Above Croatia? Yeah. Above Croatia. Okay. Iceland. Who? <laughs> Um, <laughs> Captain Aaron Goodison, one of my favourite players of all time, Cardiff City. Everyone's favourite uh, second team, weren't they? Yeah. Um, Particularly in Wales, you know, you're cheering on Wales and then Iceland go and dump out England. Um, amazing. Yeah. Brilliant, that was. Steve McLaren, that famous <laughs> video of him there. <laughs> Iceland have qualified for the World Cup once and the Euros once, which yeah. is amazing for their population. It is, well, 350,000. Population of Cardiff and they've. Along, so they'll be alongside your Bulgarias and your Finlands, I imagine. Got they? Got Maybe a bit higher uh, than Finland. By yeah, there? there. Okay, great. Ireland, you know, they qualify for a lot of the past. They had some big wins, beat Italy, I think, in World Cup 94. Uh, they used to always seem to get to the knockout rounds. They, 2002, obviously. 2002, the... yeah. That was, I remember watching that as a kid. That was brilliant. Um, Robbie Keane with the celebration. Uh, they did quite well in the last year, I don't think. Was the last one doing? The one before, 2016. They beat yeah. Italy there, didn't they, as well? But they perhaps, you, as an island fan, you know, you'd be disappointed with how you performed in there. You would have wanted to go further in some of those occasions. Yeah. So do we slot them around the Austria mark? Yes, for yeah. now. I think, I think they'll bump down. Yes. But yeah. Israel. Oh, controversial. Right, Israel, where are they going to go on this category? They haven't done anything, have they, football? Otherwise, no. qualified for one World Cup, maybe. Yeah, so, not particularly significant. By, by about it's World Cup qualifiers. Yeah, it? by there. Yeah. No, Bosnia higher. No, Israel higher. <laughs> right. Um, Italy. Ooh, they're going to be challenged. Germany. Four World Cups. They've also won the Euros. Yeah. Uh, in '68. I think that's it, isn't it, for their Euros win '68? So um, let's let's have a look at the World Cups. Yeah. Thirty-four. The Coppa del Duce, that was under Mussolini's rule in Italy. Yeah, maybe Massive it pressure to win it, and they win it. They win it again, retain it, first to retain it. There would have been three by that point, first to retain it. Um, mm -hmm. 38, 82, stunning win for those who remember it. Tardelli. 2006, great stunning win. win for those who remember it. One of football's great nations. And they won the, Euros, the last year, isn't they? One of football's great nations. It's really hard. They probably would have won another, maybe one or something else if the Torino side hadn't been wiped out yeah. as well yeah. in 49. Uh, I think, do they go? It's really tight, this. I think. I think second for me for now. Yeah, I and think. And we can just debate it again. <sighs> I think they're second. I think they're behind Germany. Oh, Balotelli and I have something to say about that. Who's calling it Germany? Oh. Right, so let's go in Kazakhstan. Oh, was, they're was, down was, the was, bottom, aren't they? They yeah. haven't done anything. Sorry, Kazakhstan, it's probably you about. They, they usually get a few points on the board, don't qualifiers. Right, moving on. Kosovo, probably similar to Gibraltar. Very, very new. But they've done quite well. I think they've done better than Gibraltar because they've picked up a couple of wins. And they've done they? better than Andorra. Yeah. That's the problem there. Which is very good for a new country and a tiny country and a war torn country at points. Okay, we, we've almost filled out this one here. So we've got Liechtenstein next. They got a, they aren't as bad, are they, as some of the other ones? Not great, though, either. They've got to go down there, haven't they? Yeah. Is but, that full, though? Uh, yeah, so we're going to have to probably bump someone up, maybe. What about there? Okay, next one is the Lithuanian team. Oh, they they aren't done anything either, <laughs> are they? Right, Lithuania go into the bottom. Yes. I know Azerbaijan, I'd say. Yeah. Who would I rather face, Azerbaijan? So who are you going to put up? So let's bump... Cyprus? Let's bump the first couple up for now then, but to the bottom of the next tier. Estonia and Kazakhstan. Okay. Yeah. All right, Luxembourg. They have actually mm. been quite good recently. Yeah. They've seemed to have got rid of that whipping boy sort of, uh, you know, reputation. Yeah. So shall we put them up into the one above? Yeah. And I, I put them slightly above the ones that we've got there. Yeah. Good stuff. Right. This looks to me like Macedonia's uh, crest. They qualified for the last Euros. North Macedonia, sorry. They qualified mm -hmm. for the last Euros. Um, they didn't get any points. But, you know, they qualified. So they have to go up, don't they? Yep. Probably. Just off by, by Georgia. Okay, Malta. <sighs> they haven't done anything, have they? They're They're in the done... country. Haven't done a lot. You know Malta, don't you? I've been there twice. Pop yeah, that. Let's put them about there. And then bump up the next. Okay. 
so Cyprus is going to go up as well. And so uh, they've all, they got nine in there as well. Oh, no. No, we've got ten in there. So Israel go up. Promoted. Bosnia going to go up as well then. Right, Moldova. They, they're not good, are they? No, bottom. Right, sorry, Moldova. They're going towards the bottom. Okay, Montenegro. Now, they are a bit better. Yes. Not much better. But they get another former Yugoslav uh, country. They had Serbia and Montenegro in the World Cup in 2006. Uh, they've had some decent players over the years. Let's pop them up into this one then. By about there. I just think just above Luxembourg. Right, Netherlands. Right, we got through some of those uh, those other teams. Into the Netherlands now. Let's see what we're going to go with. They've won the Euros in 88. They've lost a few World Cup finals. Three, I believe. 74 was obviously the, the famous one. The Cruyff one where they, yeah. they should have probably won it. They should have. They did. Total the football. They should, and 78, you know. If Koif was there, maybe they would have won that one too. Uh, let's put them in the 6.15, the top of the top of it. Definitely. Definitely. For the impact as well, wider impact they are on football. Hey, Northern Ireland. They have had some good players over the years. Pat Jennings, George Best. Um, they have got to the World Cup knockout rounds, quarterfinals in 58. They got to the Euros knockout round in 2016, lost to yeah. Wales. Another team that lost to Wales. Um, where are they going to go? I think... They also actually they also got to the second group stage in nineteen eighty two World Cup as well. So I think we're going sixteen to twenty five, but to the towards the bottom of it. I put them under the Republic. Controversial. Okay, brilliant. Right, let's go with Norway. Norway have always had some decent players, but never, never done, done it. enough. They've never done it. World Cup ninety four they qualified for and ninety eight. So the nineties was their sort of gold generation. However, they got a new golden generation yes, coming now. Odegaard, Harland. So we put them in this 26 to 35 towards yep. the top. Right. Um, I think this is... Is this Russia? No, Poland. Oh, well done. Right, this is, right, this is Poland next. Uh, decent team, Poland. So 70s were good. 70s, 80s, 82. Uh, they qualified for quite a lot of World Cups recently. Some good players. Lewandowski and so on. They're going to go in 16 25. Yeah. Probably... I think they go above Northern Ireland, don't they? Let's split, the, split the... Yeah. They go above Northern Ireland, definitely. They, they might even go above Ireland. We'll, we'll double check at the end. Right, Portugal. Winners, Euro 2016. Um, they're having, they seem to be still having the golden generation. They're, still, they're always up there, aren't they? Uh, World yeah. Cup, um, 66. You see the top scorer. They lose semi finals to England. Um, then they do all right. Euro 2000. 2004, lost the final. 2006, World Cup. They... I think they came fourth. They're gonna. They won a Euro, so they have to go up here, don't they? Just behind Netherlands. Have they been more successful than Netherlands, or have Netherlands had more of an no. impact on world football? Netherlands have lost three World Cup finals. Yeah, fair. So yeah, and had much bigger impacts. Romania, ooh, nineties team. They were good then, weren't they? When they all dyed their hair blonde. Uh, they got. <laughs> they did well in the Euro uh, World Cup ninety four as well. Hadji. Um, what were we thinking about them? They qualified this year, haven't they, as well? Yeah, I think, you know, they're one of those nations that actually need to be in that 26 to 35 because they have oh, possibly even they higher. higher. They go higher than Northern Ireland. Yeah. I think Poland should be higher than Ireland, by the way. Let's do that. Okay. Let's put Ireland back together then. <laughs> no, right. Um, Russia. Oh, where do we put them? I mean, they, 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 they shouldn't be in this. Um, no. They won the first Euros as the Soviet Union. Yeah. 1960. Massive. People like Lev Yashin, you know, mm -hmm. famous, uh, one of the best goalkeepers of all time. They got they did well in the uh, year 2008, Andrei Arshavin, yes. scoring all yeah, those goals. Yeah, yeah. I think they go in that 16 25. Yeah. Or we'll just put them. They, they've won it, haven't they? They've won it, though. So they have to go up here. There? Have they done more than those? I know they've won it. Let's put them there. There. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Right. San Marino, maybe the top best team. <laughs> Uh, got a very funny fan account, the one who tweets when they when they score a goal and goes crazy. But right. I mean, they they celebrate scoring goals. That's that's about sort of all they can do, really. Isn't it? <laughs> they celebrate corners, don't they? Yeah. Um, I think I've got too many there, haven't I? Yeah, yeah. I have. Right, so Azerbaijan. So Albania are bumping up. Azerbaijan are jumping up too. Lovely. Right, uh, Scotland. Oh, we've got Scotland shoe behind us. There. Um, they qualify for so many World Cups and Euros, but never get out of the groups. Yes. Will they do it this time? 
you could check our prediction to find out if they do or if we think they do. Um, the fans are amazing players of his and they obviously have had a huge impact on top of history yeah. because of where they're situated. And the Victorian period as well, isn't it? We're, we're really significant. The Scotch professors, people like that. Developing the game we kind of play now, yeah. different to the original ideas yeah. of football. Um, do they go up to 1625 for that reason then? I think they are important when you consider the impact they've had as well as being present at a couple of tournaments. What do you reckon there? Yeah. Oh, no, they go behind. They've now got out. Ireland have got out of the group stage. They haven't. Okay. Right, uh, moving on. This is Serbia's crest. They, you know, if we're talking Yugoslavia, pretty good. They lost Strong. the first Euros final. Uh, they've qualified for a lot of Euros since that. They, you know, as Serbia did right as well, the world, they don't yeah. think they've actually qualified for the Euros over Serbia, ever. They did qualify for the World Cup, though. Mitrovic. Jovanovic scored the winner against Germany yeah. 2010. Liverpool legend there. Yeah. Um, right, they got to go over the 26 to 35, Serbia? Yes. I reckon they go about here. Fine. Spur Finland. Okay, moving on to Slovakia. Now, if they get Czech Republic's history as well, <laughs> they'd be glad about them up, haven't we? Well, they are part of Czechia, you know, Czech, Czechia, isn't it? I think they've got to split it. You got to split it. Do they? Do they count? Uh, Czechia gets 76, some. Seventy six. Is that? some. I wonder. I I wonder whether Czechia claim it as sort of the bigger partner of the two. Let's I, pop I, them up there just because I think we have to. Yeah. They go. They go behind Czech Republic. Czech Republic have done more since. Fine. Another team that lost to Wales in the Euros. Slovakia as well. Right. Uh, do we put? Well, put. I'll put a bit lower. Pop them. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, let's put them there. Right, um, and, and if you do want to claim Czechoslovakia's history, yeah, let us know. Let us know if you do. Yeah. yeah, Slovenia. They're a bit more of a recent yeah. team as well. We'll cut 2002. They qualify for. Mm -hmm. Do you know what? I people say about my ball knowledge, but I'm I'm really in off here. <laughs> right, um, with no prep. Yeah, with no prep. Right, uh, after a day of teaching, teaching six seven year olds. Um, right, Slovenia. Do they go in 26 35 as well? Yeah. Got there? Yeah. Spain. Ooh. Easy one. Into the top five. Where are they sitting in our top five? Obviously, 2008, 2010, 2012. They're sitting there. Perhaps the greatest international side of all time. Fourth. I agree. A World Cup and three Euros. Yeah. But I think two World Cups and two Euros is better. Because France got two World yeah. Cups. Yeah, that's fair, isn't it? Like that's that. very fair. That team are world class, weren't they? Absolutely. Oh, so, so good. We, we, when we were younger, we talked about them all the time, didn't we? Yeah. We really appreciate the football. Sweden, always present. 58 World Cup finalists. Yep. Hosts. Fallen off recently. Zlatan, though. They Characters. go along just above Austria. Fine. Do you think? I feel like all the ones above have won something. Yes. Or done something yeah. a bit more significant. Yeah. But Sweden are always there. Switzerland, they're always there. They're always qualifying Switzerland. Yeah. And always one of the first to qualify. Oh, they're already qualified. And then they, they never really do much then when they get there, is it? But they um, caused Spain some problems, didn't they? A few, they uh, they a few beat Spain, didn't they? At the, uh, well, they did a while. The last year, I think mm. they knocked out France, didn't they? So they're a bit of a giant killer, Switzerland, as well, on their day. I hope they go on this 1625 about there. Behind Sweden. Uh, Behind Austria for the Wunder team. Behind, yes, yeah. Turkey World Cup third place 2002. That's big. I've not done much else. But that's the Euros because yeah. qualify qualified for. Um, I think that's the only World Cup they've ever qualified for. I think wow. maybe I may be one of the early ones, but I think that's it. Actually, 2002. I think they jumped down into this 16, 26 to 35, but higher up because they yes. came third. No, they go above, they go above they go above Northern Ireland. We're gonna have to bump Northern Ireland. Down, yeah. Right, who's next? Ukraine. Mm. Hmm. Interesting. Ukraine. What do you think of them? It's a difficult one, isn't it? Because, again, they've been present. They've gone to a lot of tournaments. They got to a knockout in 2006. Yeah. They got to a like, quarter-finals that year, actually. I think they go in that 26-35. Yeah, relatively new country in some ways, aren't they? By them. And Wales, oh, well, they should be number one, shouldn't they? No, right, Wales. Right, let's reel off what Wales have done. Not much in terms of qualifications, but they have got the 1958 World Cup quarterfinals. They might have even won it if John Charles was playing. They have got third place at Euro 2016. Yeah. 
They got the knockout to the last Euro, so I should have qualified for this one, which is unfortunate. Then they got to the last World Cup as well. They probably need to go in the... They go, <laughs> they go above Northern Ireland, don't they? Yes, 100% above Northern Ireland. Do they beat Romania or what they've done? Sweden jump up. Wales go next to Scotland. Behind no. or above? Behind. Behind Scotland. They've had less impact on... Scotland North have North. qualified for more. Yeah. Tournaments. Fine. They haven't done well in them, but they've got a lot more. And they've had a better history over a longer period of time. Yeah. So I think Wales will sit pretty in 25, 4, 3 to 22nd place. I think we can take that. Yeah, I'm happy, that. That. I'm happy with that. Right. Anything you want to change? I think people will, will shout at us for some of them, but we've tried here to balance it fairly. Success and impact. I think we've got certainly that top seven. I don't think people can argue there. That's the right order. Yeah, well, the top five all, all won a World Cup, haven't they? Yeah. So that, that's the difference. That's what sets them yeah. above the rest. But then, you know, the other ones have won Euros. They've done well in the tournaments. Um, right, I'm happy with that. If you would like to see us do more, let us know what you would like us to rank in the comments below. Let us know what you think the top five should be. Let us know if your country, like you said, should be higher. Brilliant. It's amazing to hear from all around the world. So it's brilliant to see, you know, different countries each time viewing our videos. Um, Please like and subscribe and uh, we will see you again for the next one very soon.